let's talk about Vidas Dames, uh, Vidas Games, sorry, real quick. Sure. Uh, obviously, we both know Vidas, and um, yeah, he's been a games developer for many years. Um, tell us more about you know how this came about and what your role is there exactly. So I guess it all kind of started uh, last year when I was first introduced to him through Matt because obviously Matt's the guy I met first. And um, we just kind of instantly hit it off. We're both memers. Um, you know, we both like the same sort of taste in music. We both love horror. So obviously we instantly hit it off and we've just been sort of talking ever since. And I think it was one night earlier in that sort of beginning of this year. It might have been late. Fe- yeah, it must have been late, late February, mm. uh, mid-February, where he was just like, give it a shot, man. Just just go for it, you know? And I was like, uh. And so I downloaded Blender. And I thought, yeah. I need to, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to need to learn how to do 3D modeling. And I remember literally sitting up all night. Like, I did not sleep. I literally, all night, I was in Blender, and I made a donut. Yeah, I saw and, that. I remember yeah, that. You remember the donut? Yeah, that was and I incredible. made a donut. Yeah, and I, um, I'm, you know, I gave it the layers. I gave it the texture. Um, I, you know, I moved it all around. It had the pink, pink glossy, like, um, what's it called? That's the icing kind of stuff yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I completely rendered it into a 3D image, moved the light around and stuff, and it just looked amazing. And I was like, holy shit, I love this. This is great. And then the rest is kind of history, really. And then um, I guess because now that I've got, these two games underway and they've done generally pretty okay, I guess, by anyone's first game standards, you know, they've they've made triple figures in terms of like over a couple of hundred pounds, you know, in in terms of people downloading and buying them. Um, You know, I just kind of got that level of confidence. I've done quite well. And he was just like, you want to join the team? You know, I've seen what you do. And um, I I think, you know, we'd, we'd make some great stuff together. So I was just like, mate, you had me at hello kind of thing, you know? So, um, yeah, I joined, what was it now? A couple of weeks ago and, yeah. um, we're working on a few projects obviously, which I cannot unfortunately talk That's about, fine, yeah. but my general role there is modeler, um, animator, anything he needs doing really. I'm even doing some audio stuff as well. Um, but yeah, no, it's good. I'm glad to see what, um, to be part of the team and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what we all come up with. 